Greetings, in this video I'm going to show you how to update your installed mods on your server using your browser interface or R2 Mod Man or Thunderstore Mod Manager. Now this video is geared towards those of you who are just starting out hosting your own server in Valheim. But there might be something for those more experienced admins as well. Stay tuned! Now Gportal is my hosting service of choice and I'm using FileZilla as my FTP program. I know there's a lot of other choices of companies out there to host your Valheim server with, and many other FTP programs to use to upload and download files to and from your server. As always, the basic actions and methods I use here will be the same, or similar to most of the other options out there. Last time we covered taking locally installed mods and installing them on your server. Well, now it's 2023, and not much has changed in regard to that process. But a lot has changed in Valheim itself. With the new Mistlands update live, a lot of mods have been affected. This means a lot of new mod updates to support the new patch, which means a lot of work for the mod developers to accommodate this, and ultimately also work for us server administrators, trying to keep our servers up to date with the latest mod patches. We should already know how to get our mods from our computer up onto our server now, and if you haven't, check out this video. I'm using R2 Modman or Thunderstore Mod Manager to control my mods locally here. I would highly recommend R2 Modman as it is the most user-friendly program out there to do the work for you. Now, if I update these mods locally here, it says we have 18 available mods to update. Would you like to update all? Why, certainly, sir, I would. It will not affect the server as I have to then move the files back onto the server which I'm going to show you in just a minute. So now let's go ahead and start updating those mods. Just click update all to get started. You'll be prompted with this screen. It's your list of mods that it's about to update and the version numbers after that. You go ahead and push update all. So just sit back, relax, enjoy a cup of coffee or your drink of choice while your mods update for you. I'll check back in when we're all done. <laughs> Looks like our mods are all updated. Now, if we go to our folder where our mods are kept locally, we'll find them. What's that? You don't remember how to get there? Well, let me show you. Just click settings and go to browse profile folder. This is gonna open up this folder. We're gonna go to BepinX. There, in the plugins folder, organize it by date modified. Make sure you're looking at the mods you've updated today. Here they are, 18 mods. Now, we're gonna have to make sure we open up our FTP program or browser interface. All right, so we've got our local files here, the mods that we've updated, highlighted together. Now, we have our updated mods all selected inside our folder. Now we need to get those mods onto our server. How do we do that? Well, we use our FTP program or the browser interface provided by our hosting service. Here you can see I've already got my FTP program open. I'm gonna navigate to BepinX, and there I can see my plugins folder right there. All I need to do now is drag this all the way across to plugins and copy them to my server. But wait, what's this? It wants me to overwrite files. Should I do that? The answer is yes. You wanna overwrite because these are the updated versions that you're copying and pasting over top of the mods that you have on your server already. Now I push okay, and now we wait. <laughs> now that we've got all our mods updated, we should just be able to start the game and join, right? Wrong. The most important thing to do is restart your server. I've covered this on my last tutorial. Here again, I'm using Gportal. Maybe your interface looks a little bit different, but there should always be a turn on and off switch or restart. Here, I'm just gonna push restart. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're back here now and we've loaded up our game with our 90 plugins. The ones we have just updated should be ready to go. I'm gonna join my server. Now we wait, hopefully. Everything will work out perfectly. Soon we should be prompted with a password input. There it is. Don't look. Okay. Once you reach the screen, you know you're loading in. Here we are. We've loaded back into our game. Just have to wait three years for everything to load in properly. All right, we're in and everything seems to be working properly now. All of our mods are updated and functioning as they should be. So that's it. 
Now you should know how to update your mods on your server and get those new features and changes ready to go out for you and whoever you're playing with. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.